a local Frenchman became fixated on perfecting pâté the way his grandmother used to make it. The result was so good, they turned it into a business. The Navy brought me in New Zealand, um, and we actually stopped in Dunedin, Akaroa, and Wellington. Um, the place was absolutely amazing. Um, I was blown away to actually see New Zealand. I live now in Situn uh, for the last three years uh, with my wife, Jeanette, and um, it's a lovely, lovely suburb uh, to live in. It almost got the little village feel um, within of a small community, a bit what I had when I grew up as a kid in, in the bottom of the, of the Pyrenees in a small village. My grandma actually spent all her life um, in the village and she grew up, got married and still is there as of today in the same house. She was making all sorts of products. Um, she's just cooked um, a lot of the traditional products we've got in the southwest of France, uh, from the cassoulet to um, piperade from the Basque countries, to make her own um, chickens and pâté and all sorts of different products from the south, from this area. My grandma is a lovely uh, grandma, um, always uh, thoughtful and, and, um, and very caring uh, for people and family. Um, spend a lot of time cooking in this kitchen, uh, which is really lovely to, to see those pictures. That's, that's another picture of um, my grandma and my grandfather when they were actually uh, doing home cooking um, on, on a large scale. Uh, as you can see, the size of the salami, um, saucisson, uh, who's actually sitting here on the table. Uh, some serious cooking going on. We have a um, combination of pork meat and a bit of pork liver to bind that together. Also, shallots, because the shallots takes down the acidity of the liver, and mineral rock salt and cracked pepper. A very true, genuine product, exactly how grandma used to do it. It's not the most appealing, I guess, but it's what liver looks like when it comes out. <laughs> Very sloppy product. And that's the fun part, the mixing part, which um, takes a little while, but you've just got to get the liver and the meat to bind together. Oh, it tastes better than what it looks. It's just grind meat and um, I use this device to pipe it through the jars. So it's just a good old method of putting that into a plastic bag, cut a corner and slowly fill up the jar. One of the big events in the, in the village was actually to kill the pig uh, once a year. That was quite a, a big celebration in the village. So um, a lot of the women were helping out, you know, in making of the cooking, and the men were actually killing the pig, cutting into pieces, and this and that. And that was a good time at the end of the day to get everybody sitting around the big table and get about, you know, 20, 25 people sitting there telling stories and singing songs and this and that. That was a lovely time. We sell our product every Sunday morning at Schaefer's Market in Wellington. It's a very interesting market to be in because it's a lot of traditional products, um, but they're all in their own uh, specific area. So we're proud of being part of this market, which is almost of a niche market. Is this your like, traditional local recipe, like your mother's recipe? Kind That's of my grandma's one, yeah. Yeah, she's, um, she's hardcore. But you know what, it actually tastes better, I reckon, because the New Zealand pork is much better quality than what yeah. we've got in, in, you know, in France. We have to actually um, do a lot of tastings to get people getting used to the texture and the, and the flavors. There's a bit of a different pate, a bit of misconception between all sorts of pate that exists. 
My grandma is really proud of uh, me carrying on the tradition. I, I did come back to France um, to see grandma. I actually brought back some of the product, um, which on her own words were, it's not too bad. <laughs> so taking it from her, I think it's pretty good, but she'll never admit that it tastes better than hers.